Hi everybody! Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow, this is uh, this is quite exciting. Um, goodness, we've um, this is the first time we're doing something like this together. Uh, what yes. a just give us a wave if you can see us. Uh, make sure that everything's going well. Give us a thumbs up if you can see what's going on. Um, awesome. Might as well take it from here. Uh, might as well start by introducing ourselves. Uh, take it away, Uriah. Absolutely. So hello everyone, uh, my name is Yurai Hasik, I'm drummer and producer. Uh, very briefly, I used to study in London, the higher the diploma of uh, music performance, and from there I, I started to doing uh, production. It's now more than five years. I'm also drumming, I'm a drum teacher, and uh, this is something very important for me, this this whole moment, this, this whole project. We used to work and uh, you can find more music on my Instagram, Yura Hasig, and also on Spotify. 
back to you. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, hi, everybody. My name is Dean, um, also known as Dean Magpie on all of my socials. I am an animator, an editor and a creative director. And uh, I've been working in this capacity for around five years now, um, working on music videos and um, other works in production print, etc. Uh, with a number of people um, such as Uriah over here. I'm realizing I'm gesturing in the wrong direction. <laughs> Um, but yes, so just a, a quick little bit of um, housekeeping so we know what's going to happen on a live stream. Uh, we've done a bit of an introduction ourselves here, might have a bit more of a chat. We're then going to go and jump straight into the music video itself so we don't keep you waiting for too long. And then after that, um, we will move Swifty into a Q&A. Uh, so if you have any questions about the way that we uh, went about putting this project together, any software that we had, if you have any um, real great questions that you'd like to ask us just uh, pop them in the chat wherever you are we're currently streaming to YouTube Twitch and to TikTok uh, so just leave us your questions in the chat and we'll get back to you when we're doing that um, Uriah before we jump into the music video itself is there anything that um, you'd like to add uh, I just want to add uh, very briefly this whole correlation to like two and a half year so was lots of work done both sides thanks very much for everything and just enjoy this oh it's it's been great and honestly i've had a i've had a blast working with you and honestly i'm just so excited to be showing this to everybody now because uh um i don't know uh, if we've got any friends and family that are currently watching at the moment just want to say thank i you. think so yeah honestly just thank you so much for supporting us through the process it has been it's been tumultuous it's been it's been complicated, it's been exciting, and we're finally here. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, let's, I would uh... maybe jump very quickly and say if there is a Hugo. Yeah. Partly. Thanks very much for everything. Yeah, for Hugo. For the vocals, mix and mastering, everything. Yeah, Hugo, if And if here. there is anyone else who collaborated, thanks. And uh, I'd also like to say, Aziz, don't know if you're here. I imagine you might be a bit busy at the moment, but hi, Aziz, as well. It was wonderful to meet you and to have you as part of this process. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Absolutely. And uh, hopefully I get to work with you guys again in the future. This was an awesome time. All right, uh, let's um, let's put a pin in this for now. And uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's actually get into the, uh, the meat of uh, why we're all here. Very exciting to be doing this.
there we have it <laughs> what a time oh my goodness it has been so exciting working on this and it's even more exciting to be able to finally show the outcome of that project so yes. ta-da <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, it's really cool. I'm not going to lie, Uriah, being able to finally show yeah. this to everybody. Um, we've been talking about this for ages. and having What a moment, keep... yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Just having it all in secrecy and finally being able to put it out there and say, here yes. you are. It's, uh, it's in your hands. Enjoy it. Um, so I suppose we're now into the Q&A portion of things. Um, we were going to jump into it a little bit because we had some questions for each other. Um, so now would be a good opportunity if any of you have any questions for us to start putting them in the chat now. Uh, but I am going to throw it over to you first, Uriah. And, Absolutely. Um, yeah. I, okay. Uh, yeah. Let me ask you this firstly. What was, on your side, what was the first or what was the main inspiration on, from your side when you started working on this? Was there any specific like movie, film, or different artist or animation you, you was into? Or what was the main drive for you while working on this? Mm, that that is a good question and uh, while there was a lot that actually inspired the process of putting this project together um, I have a background in art history and it's very important for me to do a lot of research before I go straight into a project because I wanted to make this as personable and as significant to you firstly as an as a producer as an artist and then secondly I wanted to to give people the opportunity to infer meaning as they went into this as well. So in terms of inspiration, one of the big movies that first inspired this was um, the Wachowski sisters, the, the Matrix trilogy, uh, talking about this idea of um, dreams and falling into dreams and ultimately dreaming about a better future, which is something that uh, I imagine that a lot of us artists and musicians can all relate to. Um, we all have this dream of making it big and um, you know, achieving that that notion of success, and um, I yes. wanted to play around a lot with that in this this idea of sort of waiting and thinking about the thing that you really want to be doing in life. Um, visually, though, uh, I mean, I grew up on a healthy diet of different forms of animation, from Miyazaki to Cartoon Network and a few others, uh, just uh, mm -hmm. from what I grew up with. And um, colors-wise, I was inspired by. Um, uh, things like the Pink Panther, the way that they use sort of bright and bold colour to convey excitement and, um, you know, movement and emotions. And there's just that lovely painted aesthetic that comes with it as well. Just really gives that, that handheld touch with it. Um, and so yes. that those are one of the big inspirations that I really brought into the process and um, hopefully really shone through in the, the dream sequence with the... Um, uh, with the playing up on the stage and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of other bits and bobs that I, I brought through in the references as well, but those two especially, I think, were the, the main thing for me, I'd say. Oh, I would maybe just quickly add something here, because what I really liked was like how we discussed everything at the beginning, like what's the favorite visuals, movies we like, or favorite scenes, from movies or films and it, it took it took some time to discuss but it was like really like at the end it made it so personal and so like unique so thanks for this I appreciate that and um, I'm glad that you enjoyed the outcome it was uh, it was really important to me uh, knowing that you were happy every step of the way and so to the audience that are actually watching this um, Uriah and I had many a meeting going through every single scene making sure that um, we were happy with everything visually and uh, from the initial storyboard to the line arts to the use of colour um, we, we were both really involved in the process and um, I, I really enjoyed doing that. Yes, absolutely. Talking about scenes, uh, by the way, which was your most enjoyable scene while you're creating <laughs> this whole thing? Was there any specific? I think you quite enjoyed the, because there was like guitar player involved in this. Mm. We were basically shooting a special video just to, just to make the, the guitar scene 
happen. Yeah, I to be honest, you you pretty much hit the nail on the head. I really loved um, I, my my favorite scene really, or my favorite sequence was the dream sequence up on the stage, uh, playing mm. in the playing in the Morpheus, which again reference the Matrix, reference this notion of dreaming because our poor guy slips, falls, and hits his head on the projector, um, and. Uh, what I loved with that was having the opportunity to essentially um, use a lot of references, visual material that I'd never used before. So um, I spent a lot of time in the um, in the studio with Uriah, actually. Um, we, we sat down together and I sort of explained the different shots and I, I, I basically just got to watch him play. And um, I mean as some artists will uh, conclude or agree with me on this, drawing hands is a nightmare. Drawing hands playing on the drums can be even harder. Uh, and so we ended up yes. essentially filming a lot of different reference material that um, I could use uh, in the process of putting the scenes together. And I just, I love the challenge of that. And it was the same for the guitar playing. We had Chris that came in um, and played that wonderful solo and creating the characters actually based off of Uriah and Chris himself was something that I love doing as well. So really the challenge of emulating real life and making sure that I was staying true to what it is to be a musician, I suppose. That's what that's yes, what I enjoyed absolutely. the most. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I, I get one more for you. Okay. Uh, what do you think? What was uh, how much the music inspired you during the whole process? Um, what was 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 if if you I don't want to, you don't need to say like exact percentage here, but just hit it. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, again, another really good question. I mean, I know I talked a little bit about it earlier. Um, uh, so talking about the lyrics, this notion of the waiting, um, I had a, like a fantastic conversation with Aziz actually about the, the process of putting the lyrics together. And for me, the fact that I came to understand that the music was inspired from like a very emotional and significant period in both of your lives. Um, that was the probably the most valuable part in the process uh, because I don't know the, this this notion of waiting around. Um, obviously, you approached me and gave me this opportunity, yes. um, but that's that that idea of waiting is something that we've all had to go through and so especially with the dreary um and i suppose bleaker color palettes at the beginning and then at the end when he wakes up and realizes that all of this playing was just dream um you know that that was really important for me to convey um yeah and then just the the sound itself, the way that it was sort of droning through these long dragged out notes, the piano sort of coming back in in reverse. Um, actually, that part really, when I listened through and I was reading the lyrics, it was that part really that made me go, okay, this is a dream sequence. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a, you, we've gone through, yeah. we've had this wonderful journey and now we're coming back to reality. We're coming back to the reality of this is the real world and we're waiting. And um, I just, I loved playing with that source material. So from start to finish, yeah. the music was sort of the guiding emblem throughout the process. Um, and I think that if I hadn't followed the significance of that guiding material, we probably would have ended up with something much more different and perhaps That's something that... Yeah. Yeah, and probably something that didn't really do it justice either. I mean, from a source material standpoint, I, I really loved playing with... Um, I, I, obviously, um, to the audience, you'll be able to watch the video now. It'll be out on YouTube. It's on Uriah's channel. It'll be on my own channel as well. But through the falling sequence, all of the writing in the background, Uriah hand-wrote those lyrics and sent them over to me. And I wanted to play with the direct material and bring that in. You know, you're actually falling into your work. You're getting really absorbed into it. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'd take it literally because why not? It's it's It's... It made sense. I think that that's my favorite scene so far. <laughs> the following scene. It's just the best. Well, thank you for asking me some questions. And you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, put you on the spot now because I do have some questions for you too. Uh, sure. Starting with 
uh, I mean, I've talked a little bit about how the music inspired me, but I'm going to ask you um, to explain to the audience what inspired you to write this song? So the inspiration, it's coming from like five or six years back. It was like, at the beginning, I had some piano and drums. And to be honest, this song went through different levels, different tries again and again with different artists, different sounds. I was experimenting with some live instruments. But the general idea was like piano and the drums. And then I started thinking like, okay, we need some voice here, some rap section. And the, I think the, the step up was like the collaboration with Aziz. He, he, he did a lot. He amended the production a little bit. He added some, some rap section. He actually made the whole chorus, the melody, everything. So he, he did a lot for me and I really appreciate this. And then uh, we obviously got the Hugo, who did uh, the vocals in the chorus and uh, also makes a master. And then uh, I really need to say very, really big thanks to the Chris Bruce, who did the guitar. I don't know if you, if you know, guys, but this guy, he basically played with artists like Seal in the US. So he's really like big name. And also like Tony Gray, who it's like quite famous bass player from from UK now living in the US, and uh, that was such a great collaboration with these two guys as well. And uh, even if it was like online collaboration, it was we discussed a lot. I recorded some special notes for them just to like just to let them know what exactly I want at some points. So there was like. Lots of lots of people on board for this. Back to you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's honestly from my side, obviously, because I was part of the visuals. It was amazing coming into the studio and um, having the opportunity to, uh, again, talking about this notion of working over the internet and um, that most of this being through platforms like Zoom and Discord. And uh, yes. obviously we had all these different materials we were working with, but being able to see you and Aziz face to face and actually ask these questions was really enlightening. Um, I mean, I've had the opportunity to work on other music videos in the past, um, again, in this sort of similar format. Um, yippee, COVID did this to all of us, didn't it? Um, yeah. But there is something truly magical about being able to go into the studio and witness that firsthand. And I just want to thank you for having given me the opportunity to be a part of this. And um, I hope to continue to be a part of this because you've um, it's one Absolutely. thing hearing about the industry. It's another thing being inside of the industry and being part of that eye-opening process and seeing how much work goes into it. So thank you for that. Um, speaking of which... Thanks, Steve. <laughs> no worries. And actually, speaking of which, talking about teamwork and everything, I did have another question for you. And that question was, I mean, how did you find the process of collaborating with the entire team, not just the musical team, but um, from the artistry standpoint as well? Absolutely. So talking about the musician, I think I, I said a lot about the musician in the previous question. Maybe I would just quickly add uh, the studio work with the Hugo was really like something very important step in the whole audio process. And uh, what I want to say, especially this is related to collaboration with you on this whole process was like, I think there is so much, so much work done on your side from, from the storyboard, research, all the references you went through. And uh, at the beginning of the process, I, I didn't really imagine how much things we need to get this done. And I was like, maybe I was a little like dreamy guy, like, all right, I need a music video for this, so let's do it. Just, just, just do it. And then during the process, I was like, okay, we might need this, this, and that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, but just keep on, just just keep doing it. So 
and so 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 what I wanted to say that's that's so much work on your side to be to, that was done, and thanks very much again. And what was the main thing I I think, and you can see it on the video. It's like we discussed everything. We discussed every scene, as you said before. We discussed colors, motions, everything. We we planned calls like once or sometimes two per week to discuss all even if it was like two three seconds scene we just did some feedback session so that was like i think that was very beneficial for all, all the process so i think that's that's incredible and thanks again well i'm glad that you enjoyed working with me i mean i certainly enjoyed working with you <laughs> and to be honest, uh, no, I knew that there was going to be a challenge going into this because when we first put the storyboard together, it was important for me to convey this idea of artistry and mu being a musician. And so yeah. I knew that when it would get to the midpoint of the video, um, technically it was going to become a bit more complicated. And um, honestly, this project really um, highlighted the importance of collaboration for me. Um, obviously, it's something that I knew going into other projects, but not to this extent. Um, and I'm glad I had the opportunity to do it. It was certainly quite a challenge. And I hope to come back and do something like this again in the future. Um, yes, absolutely. You know what? Throw all the instruments at me. Give me a trumpet. Give me a cello. Um, I will. I, I'll do it. I. It was... Don't 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 say. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was it was excellent. Um, and actually, speaking of stuff in the future, I do have one final question for you, and uh, that would be: uh, Do you have any more music in the making? Yes, I do have. I have three, three to four ideas I'm working on right now. It's still a work in progress, but I'm experimenting with some live instruments at the moment, some different beats. And I, I definitely want to release some EP in the next upcoming months, in half a year, let's say. So there is more to come. Do you think that you'll return to writing lyrics again with Aziz or how you think you would take a completely different direction? Uh, yes, that I wanna do. I really wanna uh, collaborate with Aziz absolutely in the future. But what I started to do, I, I started to write lyrics now. Mm. So I definitely wanna make something from it. Exciting. So it'll be like mix of everything. Okay. Well, um, just sort of following off from that for the audience, um, Movies is now ready for you to listen to up on Spotify. Uh, the music video itself will also be um, live and available on Uriah Hasek and my own channels, Dean Magpie, the one that you are watching this uh, this lovely live stream on. Uh, to the people on Twitch and TikTok, just navigate your way over uh, through the many pathways that are the internet. Um, and actually, I think that we've done all the question asking that we had for each other. So I'm now going to open the floor up and uh, turn to the audience and see if y'all had any questions for us. Um, I know um, I know that the uh, channel or the, the conversation has just been up on the side here. We actually do have a question here. Which scene nice. shot took the most effort? Um, this is from Ruben Zaldua Taylor. Um, and I'm assuming that's it me. Uh, the, to be honest, the longest scene was probably... Um, after our little guy falls through the sky and uh, lands um, in the Morpheus, um, there is that first scene with Chris up on stage uh, and we have Uriah, I mean, it is Uriah, the main character of the music video, um, sort of sat behind him. Uh, that introductory shot is probably the one that took the longest to work on uh, because um, we were switching from this very dreary color palette to a much more vibrant one. And then on top of that, um, so first we have all the colors. And then on top of that, it, I think it was the first shot that I'd really started working on um, where there was a quite a brilliant use of um, like references. And so I spent a lot of time 
like looking at the way the the guitar was held and um i ended up yeah. looking at a bunch of other source material as well just to get my head around the entire process um so that's honestly probably the shot that took the most time to put together absolutely worth it 100 percent um but that was probably the most complicated one um yeah i hope that answers your question do we have any more questions here in the chat just having a look through i'm flicking through my three monitors i'm going to give everybody on tiktok a wave here and over on twitch as well hi guys i can see that you're all watching um i think that we might be done with all of the questions for now though uh which is fine uh because the wonderful thing about the internet is um it makes pr people available most days of the week um so Duraya, was there anything else that you wanted to say just to round all of this off before we headed off Yes, I mean, I will gonna repeat myself, but just big thank you to everyone who was involved in this song. I would just wanna, I will name everyone again. Just like, first of all, yourself. Thanks very much for everything. The music video is perfect. Thanks very much. No worries. Then Hugo, Aziz, Chris, Tony. I think that might be everyone. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot guys thanks to everyone and just enjoy this video and share it and write on it yeah absolutely go ahead and share it with your friends families and loved ones i'm not very good at self-promotion or anything like that uh but i will absolutely promote um uriah over here the song is fantastic there is a, a slightly extended version of it up on spotify it's wonderful go check it out listen to it as many times as you can though i will say that i am the self-proclaimed one number one fan of this song judging by the number of times that i've listened to it um but uh, we are both open and available um, to any more questions. Just uh, give us a shout through um, Instagram or through TikTok, any of the socials that we are on. Um, and uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, good night, wherever you are. And um, we'll see you around. Bye. Thanks very much. Bye bye.